Hi, we're Special Edition, and this is our sound on tap. Boys? All right. Oh, you got a drink? Mondo and I, since we were like 21, we went to this, there's this bar on the east side called Special Edition, it's pretty simple, but uh, we used to like to go there because it kind of had a, more of like a middle-aged, older crowd that we're sort of catching up to now. Yeah, 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 we're <laughs> but, about that age. Yeah, but we used to like, uh, well, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we used to go there to kind of like not go to the, 
the bars with the young people. Oh, like cool to kind guys. Of, huh? Yeah, to kind of just Make like cool relax. Guys. Cool guys. Yeah, we wanted to be. Uh, there was one time where we played cheeseburgers on Paradise um, on the jukebox like ten times in a row, and yeah. they kindly asked us to <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Like summer of 2021, I would say, is when we started up. Um, well, we could still get together because it was the second year. So we were getting together. It was interesting. This past Christmas, we wrote a, a Christmas song. Oh, yeah. And we kind of had to like send that back and forth because I happened to get COVID yeah. one week. And then you got COVID a couple weeks later. Yeah. So we didn't even get to play it. We just released it. And it's... <laughs> Maybe the, hopefully this year we'll have some fanfare. You know, it's, it's on Spotify. Yeah, we did a we did a live a live uh, stream of that song at his house in his living room. So <laughs> it's on our Instagram with a couple friends. Yeah, <laughs> but that's about all we could do. That's when it was just us two. We just played to a backtrack, just drums. So weirdly, we're at a bookstore, and the next song is about this book that is at this bookstore, which is very cool. A really weird Stephen King novel. The song's called SSDD.
friend I guess I think, man, I used to try to write songs when I was an emo kid back in the day. I found it easy to, like, take, like, a tr like a story of, like, a true crime, real murder, or just, like, a movie that we like, just elements of it. I mean, I love songs do sneak in every now and then, you know, there's a couple, but I feel like it's just more easier to write a song about something that sparks uh, our interests. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Mondo and I, like love scream we're, we're really into 90s like slasher kind of that era um so like that was just kind of uh, just a given it was one of the first songs we wrote and it's just like and i was like oh this one's called billy's in a bad mood yeah. billy loomis cool and you yeah, know he was already a cool guy in scream as well so we're just like yeah he's cool and then we also have a podcast so we like we did all the scream movies and so we were just like kind of in the scream phase and we're just like yeah let's write a scream song that would be cool yeah, it just it just made sense. I don't know, because <laughs> that's just something that's definitely the love that <laughs> yeah, Mondo yeah. and I share is pretty much um, soapy '90s uh, slasher movies. <laughs> yeah, I don't, ha I don't have anything in common with them. <laughs> <laughs> Scream, never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Courtney who? Courtney ne who? Neve who? Neve? Is that a real name? <laughs> Do you just show up and you're like, oh, okay? Well, yeah, for the most part, he always has like a movie on of some kind that's actually pretty entertaining. <laughs> so on breaks, we kind of watch it for a little bit. Oh yeah, we were like, watching uh, <laughs> vampires at our last practice. John Carpenter's Vampires. That was a good one. Well, yeah, it's a. It's just for background. It's a movie. Like background. <laughs> I thought it was great. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, so we're always kind of we got horror on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> It's all Nev Campbell's fault.
I was telling somebody the other day that spotlighting was about like red sands parties. <laughs> what? So that's incorrect. Yeah, spotlighting would probably be my favorite that's, for now. That, honestly, that's my favorite song right now. Spotlighting. We just we just released it. Uh, when was it? Uh, it came out that's, in July July 29th, So yeah, it's out on Spotify now. And uh, that song is actually about a true crime uh, case about these two kids that uh, were mysteriously found uh, murdered, definitely murdered. Um, definitely. And that uh, that's like why uh, it sparked the interest of that song. So. Yeah, it's kind of started as a catchy song that uh, Mondo wrote, and then he sent it to me, wow. and then I kind of added the lyrics, and it, it's a uh, yeah. The lyrics are real depressing, but it's about I didn't know that. Yeah, it's about yeah, that. Yeah. I really I seriously <laughs> thought it was about cops busting red sounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, the cops wash their hands wow. is one of the lyrics because there's a lot of cover up. It's about these these two boys were just found. They were ran over by a train, and no one knows why these two boys would just be laying perfectly across a train. You know, perfectly healthy teenage boys. So it's very mysterious. Kevin Ives and Don Henry, if anybody wanted to look into it, there's mad. There's lots of podcasts and information about it. It's a good tune as well. So yeah, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah, and then uh, then this guy, he just he made it all all like uh, so much better with his drums. So I mean. I think that's the first one I did yeah, on drums. I think so. Released. Yeah, it's it's the first like example that we have on uh, the song that we released. It's like the three of us working together and making something really interesting. And there's lots more of that to come, especially by the time this is out. We're going to have a couple of new singles out as well. Yeah. <laughs>
that was great. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, everything sh it should be okay. The mic seems a little more relaxed. Yeah. Is that an F in the monitor? Maybe a little more. Yeah, that's, that's good. Cool. I'm ready when you are. Yeah, that's good. We're Special Edition, and Sound on Tap is made possible by viewers, viewers like, like you. you.